Hello everyone, welcome back to Hearthstone. Alright, let's start another arena run, and I'm hoping I can break my my streak of 2-3 losses. Yeah, I haven't been doing too well. Between the 2-3 Warlock and the 2-3 Mage runs, which were my last two runs, things aren't going well, but let's hope that changes around. I'd really like to play a Rogue or a Warrior, and it just so happens that one of my quests is to win two games with a Rogue or a Warrior. All right, let's see what we get. Rogue Warrior, Rogue Warrior, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. <gasps> yes! Garrosh Hellscream. Victory or death. I choose victory. Okay. Injured Blade Master, not particularly good for this class. Imp Master, eh, I'm gonna go with Stampeding Godo. It's a solid card that can very easily two for one. So, good card. Oh, that's pretty easy. Well, I mean, it's certainly not the Archmage. Uh, I think I have to go with the Cruel Taskmaster. Deal one damage to a minion and give it plus two attack. Now, if I can get a Raging Worgen to use that on, you can get some insane combinations. I mean, just imagine. Use a Cruel Taskmaster on a Raging Worgen. That gives it, that enrages it. And gives it plus two attack. So it ended with four, five, six. You'd have a six attack, Raging Organ with a Wind Fury. That's 12 damage. Absolutely insane. Not to mention, if there's a weak enemy minion on the board, you can actually use this to kill it. Deal one damage. So, very nice. I'm going to go with that. Oh, well, this is a pretty easy choice. When you're in the arena, you want weapons. Fiery War Axe. Hmm... All right, I'm gonna go with card draw. Yeah, let's, go, let's get some card draw. Hmm. These are all really solid cards. Yeah, they're all really good. So, what do I want more? It doesn't really particularly matter what I choose. But, uh, yeah, I mean, they're all good. I'm gonna go with a big stompy stompy dude. Boulderfist Ogre. Hmm. The Weaponsmith. I don't know. I mean, I already have a weapon. I don't really know if I really want that. I mean, the chance of getting yet another weapon is pretty good. Of course, more weapons never really hurt. Well, actually, it could. I mean... You don't get to choose whether to equip that weapon or not. So if you have a better weapon already on you and you play this card, you're actually forced to trade down with your weapon. So you, it actually could... It could be a bad play. Because it might ruin your good weapon. Because a 2-2 weapon is... It's okay. That's not great. I think I'm gonna go with the, I think I'm gonna go with the Storm and Knight. Yeah, I don't have any 4-costers. And there's a pretty good... Just like the Stampede Encoder, there's a pretty good chance this thing's gonna 2-for-1. Oh. No. Ooh. Another weapon or a Warsong Commander? That Warsong Commander is damn, damn good. Ooh. Th this is hard. I think I need to go with the weapon. Yeah. <sighs> That's a tough decision. I mean, I already have a weapon. But it's always good to have more. Alright, well... You know what? I already have a weapon, but I don't have a Warsong Commander, so... I'm gonna go with the Warsong Commander. Alright. Hmm. Charge. That could allow you to get some crazy burst damage out. If you plop down the Boulder Fist Ogre and use that on it, there's six damage right away. But... Mm, I don't know. Uh, I kinda wanna go with the Elven Archer, just to get a one-coster and... You know, it's a neat little bit of removal, or perhaps just pop a Divine Shield, for example. A little bit of utility, it's nice. Yeah, I really don't want the Arathi Weaponsmith. 
Charger Elven Archer. I feel like I might get more use out of the charge. But... Hmm... I'm gonna go with the charge. That's a pretty easy decision. Execute. Nice bit of removal. Alarmobot, no. Crazy Alchemist. Maybe. Master Swordsmith. Give another random friendly minion plus one attack. Hmm. Hmm. Well, I don't have any taunt yet. And this is really the sort of thing that you want to protect with the taunt? I don't, I don't know. They're both two-costers, and they're both interesting sort of utility cards, sort of. They both can do neat stuff. Thing is, though, you really need the Master Swordsmith to... Uh, I mean, you're guaranteed to get one use out of it, of course, because... It's at the end of your turn. So you're getting it's essentially at least 2-3 stats for 2. Assuming you have another minion on the board. Uh, I think the Master Swordsmith, Swordsmith is just more solid. The Crazed Alchemist can be crazy good in certain very limited circumstances. Whereas this is just generally a solid card in terms of just, you know, it gives you more damage. That's good. So let's go with that. Battle Rage, nice bit of card draw. Let's do that. Hmm. There's my second Fiery War Axe. Acidic Swamp Ooze is good. I need some two drops. I mean, I've got axes and stuff, but... Well, I mean, I have two. Not too bad. But yeah, I'm definitely going to go with a weapon. No doubt about that. Alright, let's get some bigger, punchy stuff. Show and Yetis, of course, just a damn good card. Stormpike Commando, it's okay. It has such a small amount of health, it's really easy to kill. But because this Battlecry does two damage, once again, it's pretty good chance you can get that to two for one. But I'm going to go with the Show and Ye Yeti. Hmm. Cleave. Bit of removal. Rogue Strike. Punch stuff in the face. Mogashan Warden. Almost useless amount of damage, but it's really hard to punch through. How many four costers do I have? I have two. But I don't have any taunt. Taunt would be nice. I don't particularly like the Mogashan Warden. It really doesn't do much other than protect your other stuff, but that is quite valuable. I'm going to go with it, just because I don't really have any taunt. Hmm. Alright, I'm going to go with the Elven Archer. Here. I don't like the Tauren Warrior. It's... I mean, to enrage it, you have to get it down to, at best, two hit points. Which is just way too vulnerable. Nah. Yeah, let's go with this. It's a nice bit of utility, and it's a one-drop. Pop off a Divine Shield, or maybe even take out a very weak minion. It's just good. It's a decent card. Hmm. You know, I almost want to go with the Core Hound. People might think I'm crazy, because it only has five hit points, so it's relatively easy to kill. But... Keep in mind that my Warsong Commander costs three mana. So, on one turn, if you're playing them in the same turn, you you could get the Warsong Commander and the Core Hound out and charge with it and do nine damage alone. That's a crazy amount of burst damage. On the other hand, I don't have a lot of three costers and that's probably more likely to actually be useful. So, let's go with that. That's the safer option. Has charge, will you have a weapon equipped? 
Yeah, okay, so it's pretty much a suicide. It's pretty much a, a suicide unit. It has one health. Anything that does damage is going to kill it. Yeah, I don't really care for that. Hmm. At the moment, I don't have much that does a ton of damage. The Boulder Fist Ogre is the only thing that does a large amount of damage. And if you charge on something that does like four damage, just four damage, that's just eh. I'm gonna go with the Dark Iron Dwarf. Just a solid card. Oh, hello. Oh, God. Can I take all of them? Oh, it doesn't work like that? Damn. Well, okay. Mortal Strike. Deal 4 damage if a hero has 12 or less health. Deal 6 damage instead. Hmm. I don't know about that one. 4 damage for 4 cost. Not great. And if you have 12 or less health already, you're probably really close to dead. So I'm gonna roll that one out. Commanding Shout. Your minions can't be reduced below 1 health this turn. Draw a card. That can be really, really nice. Yeah, that can be nice. However, the Frothing Berserker can get absolutely out of freaking control. This thing is... <laughs> if you don't take this thing out right away, you're pretty much going to have a massive problem on your hands whenever a minion takes damage, gain one attack. In other words, you hurt hurt or kill a minion with one of your other minions. That's two damage it's just gained. Two attack. Just from that one action. Yeah, I'm going with the Frothing Berserker. Oh, hello. Alright, I don't have any silence, so that would be good. Charge, nah. Whirlwind, AoE. I don't have any AoE really at the moment. I have Cleave. It's kind of AoE, I guess. Deal two damage to two random minions. Hmm. I think you should just go with more removal. Yeah. I'm liking this deck so far. Enrage, your weapon has plus two attack. Ooh. Do I have any five costers? I have I have only one five coster. You know what? I'm gonna go with that. Yeah. Could pump my fiery war axe up to a five. A five damage weapon. Well, it's a pretty easy pick. Young Dragonhawk, it's just gonna die. Wisp, it sucks. Silver Moon Guardian, solid card. Heroic Strike, yes please. Hmm. Nightblade, no. Jungle Panther, Youthful Brewmaster. Uh, let's see. How many two coster minions do I have? One, two? Wait, is that all the two coster minions I have? That is. Okay, that's kind of sad. I think I need more two costers. Okay, what battle cries could I recombine? I could redo the Elven Archer. What else? I could redo the Cruel Master. The cr cruel Master. <laughs> cruel Master! The Cruel Task Master, rather. And the Shattered Sun Clear. Okay, you know what? I'm gonna go with the Youthful Brewmaster. Yeah. I think Cleave is the best one here. I'm not particularly worried about ac about card draw because I have one Acolyte of Pain and... What the hell is it called? The one that for each damaged friendly character you get a card? What is that called? Where are you? Oh, Battle Rage. Yeah. So between the two, I'm not exactly hurting for card draw. So I'm going to go with Cleave. Hmm. Well, the Cruel Taskmaster. I only have one of it, though, but still, that could be combined with the Gurubashi Berserker quite well. Could do damage to it, plus give it plus two attack, which would give it plus five attack in total, taking it up to five, six, seven. That's damn nice. And I only have two five costers, whereas I have quite a few three costers. I think we're going to go with that. Yeah. Young Priestess is quite nice. Ooh. Sun Fury, Sun Fury Protector. I am lacking for Taunt. I think I'm going to go with that just because I'm lacking for Taunt. Yeah. <laughs> well, there's another Taunt, but it's one of the shittiest Taunts in the entire game. 
A 2-2 two, two for 2. That'll last one turn. Corehound. I'd rather have the Corehound. I don't even have anything above 6 cost, so let's go for a big stompy stompy creature. Plus, I could potentially combine it with the Warsong Commander in the same turn, which would be pretty epic. Okay. Hmm. Well, this is a pretty easy choice. Hungry Crab is good if there's a war Warlock. <laughs> it's good if there's a Warlock out. No, it's good if there's a Murloc out. An enemy Murloc, specifically. If it's a friendly Murloc, it's not too good. Alright, Murloc War Later, obviously bad. I don't have any other Murlocs, so... It's more likely to buff my enemy than me. I'm just gonna go with the Blood Knight. Yeah, let's just go with the Blood Knight. Okay, um... Uh, there's only one thing I think this is lacking. Well... Okay, I would have liked a taunt or two, like a couple Senjin Shield Mastus. And I would have liked a better weapon, like an Arcanite Reaper. But other than that, I'm actually really, really happy with this class. I mean, this this build. Yeah, I'm actually really happy with this. Let's go. Could use a little bit more taunt, and I would like an Arcanite Reaper or two. But I've got a good amount of removal, and a decent amount. I mean, I have one Cruel Taskmaster and one Frothing Berserker. So a decent amount of that, uh, those warrior cards, which tend to kick ass. Warrior's just so fun to play. It's really, really fun to play. All right. Who are we going up against? The mage. And that, uh, that might be a problem. Definitely not this. Do I want to keep the Chill Wind Yeti? I want to keep the Frothing Berserker, no doubt about that. Mm. I'm going to toss it. Please don't regret that, please don't regret that, please don't regret that. Mm, no, I don't regret that at all. No turn one play at the moment, but that's fine. I mean, how often do you actually have a turn one play? At least when you don't have the coin. It's not too common. Whirlwind, let's not play that. Unfortunately, my turn 2 Cruel Taskmaster would not be a very good play. With nothing to really use it on. Yeah, okay, what do I do here? I really don't want to use it. Um... Yeah, I'm just going to pass my turn. I don't want to use that right now. If you don't either take out an enemy or use it to buff up one of your own, it's not a very good card. Ooh. All right. It's already six, da six damage potential on the board. I get Whirlwind and kill nothing. Crap, what do I play? None of these are particularly good plays at the moment. Well... Okay, actually, the Frothing Berserker is a pretty good play. I'm probably just going to suicide it. Alright, I'll do it. They're almost certainly going to kill it, but the thing is, they're going to have to either use one of their minions and their Fire Blast, which will take up almost all of their turn, or two of their minions against it. So, at least it absorbs some damage, which is unfortunate. I would have wished my... I could have gotten my Mogashan Warden out there to do that. After all, that's what it's for, but oh well.
Hmm. I think I'll just put up a taunt wall. Yeah. Have fun making your way through that. What can I do next turn? Five mana. I could Shattered Sun Cleric and Master Swordsmith. Ow. That hurt. You hit me in the face. Very rude. Oh, they decided not to attack. Okay. Should probably save the Whirlwind. I could do that pop off the Divine Shield. Use the Cruel Taskmaster to kill that. Hmm. Yeah, I think I'm just gonna do this we must and this. Well. And let's go ahead and kill you. Alright, so I've got. A, I'm sitting on a ton of removal here. A whirlwind, a cleave, and an execute. What have you got? Oh, you're fireballing that. Okay. Yeah, that's a good play. Now, I could suicide my Master Swordsmith into that thing. On the other hand, I could also kill it with a Cruel Taskmaster and an Execute. It's a bit extreme for a 3-3, though. Do I really want to do that? I don't think I do. I don't really want to do that. Nah, let's just get this thing out there. Excellent. Garabashi Berserker can now kill that thing if it tries to attack it. And if I attack it with my Garabashi Berserker, it's suddenly going to become a 6-7. Well, it won't have 7 hit points anymore, but yeah. Its attack is going to go up. And keep in mind, I don't even have to wait for that. I can use my Cruel Taskmaster on it. Okay, what am I going to do here? If anything has Divine Shield, gonna play that thing. I love it. Alright, can I get this thing down by four hit points? Well... What now? Let's see. Ooh, I think I know what I'm gonna do. It's gonna leave with three hit points, which is not good. But... Or... Six. Hmm. There's a lot of ways I can go about doing this. Three, four, five, six... I'm gonna run out of time here. Not sure if I'm going about this the right way. Alright, there's there's a lot of ways I could have done that. None of them I particularly loved. But it still worked out okay. I would have liked a cruel taskmaster. The Garabashi Berserker, but I don't know, that would have been awkward. I I could have done that. But then I would have had to, what, whirlwind and... I'm not sure. What, to do? what I did is what I did. 
It is done, and I can never undo it. Alright, I'm sitting on a pretty severe card disadvantage at the moment, but I like what I have on the board. For the crusade! Oh, that is... <laughs> that is a very good play for me. I'm going to soak up that divine shield. Okay. Let's see. Okay, soak up the Divine Shield, and I can Whirlwind. Um, let's see. Yeah, okay, so... Do this. Soak up the Divine Shield. I will take that. Thank you. And then kill everything. And then... What the hell? Let's give you some more damage. Now that is a Garabashi Berserker. <laughs> that is one hell of a Garabashi Berserker. Of course, it's just gonna die, undoubtedly. But I got a bunch of damage out of it. A Flame Strike would utterly devastate my board. I would just leave my Blood Knight. But of course, a Flame Strike costs. what is it, seven? So they really wouldn't be able to do much of anything else. I'm assuming they don't have one if they haven't used it already. Yeah, okay. Well, damn it. <laughs> you just pissed it off even more, but you can just playing it off, right? With the. the Fire Blast? Oh! But wait, why didn't. Did they not have enough mana? I'm not sure. Anyway. I'm sure as hell not playing that. Right. I, I literally can't do anything, so... I'm just gonna do this. And next turn, they're gonna playing off my Garbasha Berserker with their Fire Blast, which will gain their Flesh Eating Ghoul plus one attack. Please don't have a Flame Strike. I really don't want you to have a Flame Strike. Yeah, good play. Then they're gonna take out my Dark Iron Dwarf, maybe? Which is still leave a 6-4 on the board, which is pretty damn powerful. Well, they probably have something to do damage in their hand, right? Hmm. Okay. Oh, and that's going to put that up to a 4-3, and then you kill the blood. Good play. Good play. Oh, wow. And you're going to get a card for it. Alright, so that kind of resets the board, and now we're even on cards. That was a nice, that was a nice series of plays. I... Huh. If I Youthful Brewmaster my Warsong Commander, is that going to get rid of the charge? I wonder. I guess we're about to find out, because I kind of need to kill that thing. What? I guess I'll just play it again? Okay. <laughs> That's a strange series of plays, but it worked. Hmm. I hope I get my core hound. Or whatever that thing's called next turn. Or a Boulder Fist Ogre. That reminds me, where are my weapons? I've got two of them. Hmm. Should I take out the Acidic Swampoos? No. What now? I think I need to put this out there just to get something on the board to absorb damage and just give me 
one card back, I guess. Oh yeah, I can attack with this. Ooh. Should I just do it myself? No. If they... I mean, the only way... No, no I'll just leave it. Ah, great. Oh, get one card. Ooh. Decent play, has got a good amount of health. Okay. Well, let's put that out there. Hmm. Give that taunt, take you out, armor up, and we're good. Honestly, I have no idea if I'm going to lose this or not. They have a card advantage. There's no doubt about that. Which makes me think I'm probably going to lose it. I do have quite a sizable health advantage, though. That is entirely useless. Yeah, I'm probably going to lose. I don't know, they have seven damage potential on the board, so I can still last for quite a while. The gates are open. Well, GG, it's over. <laughs> I don't think I'm going to make my way through that thing anytime soon. Hmm. Okay, maybe I will. Give you charge, and let's punch through that wall. Of course, they're just going to pick that off with a stupid fire blast. But, takes away some damage potential, at least. I really hope I get an AoE. One shot. <laughs> oh. Oh. There's the power of the Elven Archer. A little bit of utility. Yeah, I'm probably dead. Although, if I had a Whirlwind right about now, but I already had it. Do I have two? I don't think I do. In fact, I'm just dead. Right? Yeah, I'm dead. Well played. I'm kind of surprised at the loss, given how happy I am with this deck. But let's go again and see if see if I can do better. If this ends up with another 2-3, I'm going to be really, really sad. Charge. Eh. I'll save that for later. Or something more powerful. Something with more punch. Youthful Brewmaster. Maybe I should keep... The thing is, I don't think you can actually play it if you don't use its battle cry, can you? I'm pretty sure you can't. Hmm... I'll keep it? I, I don't know. I'm really bad at picking cards early on. Okay. Well.
Maybe I should whirlwind it. No. In fact, I think I'll do nothing, and then I'll probably turn to Frothing Berserker. With the coin. I don't want to just cleave. I wonder. I kind of do. Yeah, let's do it. Gives me a card advantage. And then next turn I can play play Silver Moon Guardian with a coin or Oh hello Gorehound. You're my late game. What are you doing here so early? You're not supposed to be here. Probably just frothing berserker. Yeah. I could have given a charge and killed that, I suppose. Eh, I want to save the charge for my core hound, actually. Hmm. I think I'm going to be whirlwinding. In fact, yeah. I'm certainly going to be whirlwinding. Are you sure that's a good idea? Do you know what's about to happen? Hold on, is there anything I can combine with this? No. Well. I could get my Storm and Night out, but... Seems kind of like a waste. Well, actually, yeah, I'll get my Silver Moon Guardian out. Alright, so... Do this. This. Alright, talk about early pressure. Of course, there's probably something they can do to remove that frothing berserker at this point, I'm guessing. Alright, you're going to suicide that into it. Fair enough. Wow, the South Sea deck and, or whatever it's called, actually came in handy. Pop in the bubble. And this is where the Storm of Night is going to two for one. I can just charge that thing down. Which is probably exactly what I'm going to do. Yeah, let's do that. Goodbye. And punch you in the face. And turn seven, I can apply some insane pressure with the Core Hound charge combo. But I'm going to have to make my way through that first. Oh. Well, the Blood Knight seems like a mighty fine play, doesn't it? In fact... I could Blood Knight and then Cruel Taskmaster my Silver Moon Guardian and kill it. It's probably the best play. And I could even Youthful Brewmaster my Cruel Taskmaster at some point, possibly. Let's do that. I will take that Divine Shield, why thank you. Here, have some more damage. And then go kill yourself. I'm sorry. It was a valiant effort. You will be missed, Silver Moon Guardian. Ha! 
<laughs> Next turn, charge and core hound. I'm liking these combos. What have you got? What is it? You're scaring me. Why, why are you hovering that card? What are you doing? Is this an assassinate? Are you gonna, are you gonna assassin? Yep. It's alright. <laughs> That's their entire turn. They have no minions on the board. They don't even know what is about to happen. I've been waiting for this moment for so long. I, I can finally do the core hound charge combo. Corehound, I love you. You beautiful, relatively weak beast. What have you got? Did wait, what did they just did they just sprint? What are you what are you gonna do with one mana? <laughs> okay, well played. Actually, seriously, what can they do for one mana? Is there anything they could possibly do that would save them? I don't think so. Shield block, a card that I don't care for. Alright, halfway through my daily quest. Okay. 1-1. One, one. As long as I can get to three wins, I'm happy and I've broken the curse. Just gotta hope for that. Crossing my fingers. Garrosh versus Anduin. The light shall bring victory. Victory Ooh. or death. Ooh. Do I want to get rid of any of this? Not leaving off Fiery War Axe, Blood Knight. Uh, what's the chance of filling with Divine Shield this early on? I don't know. I think I'm going to keep it all. I don't know about the Sun Fury Protector, though. I mean, it's a solid card, but what can I possibly use its Battle Cry on to give taunts to? The thing is, I lack taunts. Like, this is my taunt, so... I should probably just play it anyway. Even without the taunt. Just... What about the Blood Knight, though? Oh no, my timer! Um, I'll keep it. I don't know if that's a good idea, but I'll keep it. One shot, one kill. Ow! Hmm. Master Swordsmith? I think I might just Master Swordsmith, weird as it sounds. I could give it taunt. Bring me steel. I certainly don't want to use a 3-2 weapon on a 1-1 one, one Elven Archer. And I really do want to save this taunt. Oh, great. Now it sucks. Maybe just Sun Fury Protector and then take out the Iron Beak Owl and then they have to use the Elven Archer against my 1-1 one, one Master Swordsmith with taunt? Again, I don't want to use a Fiery War Axe against what they have at the moment. Let's do that. Shields up. It's time. I really hope they put something out there with Divine Shield. I so want to use this Blood Knight. It's so satisfying to use. Need. 
She could storm and night that thing. Hmm. I almost want to fire your war axe that thing. I should probably just ignore it though. I got this. Yeah, I'm gonna ignore it and then probably cleave next turn. And I can even combo that with the fiery war axe if they put something out there that is particularly high in health. Okay, yeah. Stuff's coming out. I'm gonna punch some things in the face. It's the best way to do this. I don't have any two cost minions. Okay, this North Shire Cleric needs to die now. Right now. Absolutely needs to die. The question is how do I do it? Cleave won't do it. I think just Fiery War Axe. End Cleave? Or do I save the Cleave? I'm gonna save it. Yeah, I'm gonna save the Cleave. I don't want to use Cleave against one enemy. Hopefully they buff their stuff to hell and I can just knock it all out. Okay, I'll bash that in the face. Stampede and Kodo. I guess you're the raid leader. But then I can't take this out. Hmm, it's kind of awkward. I want to put something out on the board. Maybe I should just keep removing. Let them burn themselves out. On the other hand, I could just leave it. That doesn't seem like a good idea. All right. We must cleanse the sunwell. Obviously, I didn't use it to give a friendly minion plus one plus one, but I think it's better just to get something on the board. No. Oh. Ready, sir. Oh. Never mind. They killed a three coster for a one coster card. That sucks. Okay. What am I going to be punching in the face? Oh, I don't have enough mana to do it. God damn it. Or wait a minute. Yes, wait, maybe I do. Hold on. So charge that, and then... No, I don't. <sighs> no. Actually, yes, I do. Yes, I do. For the king. For charge you. Heroic strike. Ah! And punch you in the face. I will take all of the damage. Give it to me and I will eat it. It is part of a healthy and balanced meal for me. Alright, well at the moment... I don't know. I'm doing fancy stuff, but I'm not actually doing all that great. We have the same number of cards, and they have more health. Oh, great. Is someone injured? Another one. Yet another one. Alright, well, they've played almost everything they have. Alright, I can buff that up. Ah, now it's not gonna work. Hmm. 
I could Stampede Kodo, the Northshire Cleric. Cleric. Then I could Fiery War Axe and Stormwind Knight, the Light Spawn. Or I could Dark Iron Dwarf this. Alright, that's probably the best way. Not what I just said, but the first one. Yeah. Right? Yeah. Take that down, its damage goes down. Punch you in the face. Step eating Kodo, you're dead. Okay. Well, I've got a one card advantage at the moment. But I have a sizable health disadvantage. Alright, they're playing everything they have. And it's relatively weak. Okay, that's good for me. That's some pretty weak stuff. Relatively speaking. Uh. You. Your turn's over? You can't do anything? Hello? Please don't tell me the game bugged out again. Where did that thing that it did once before? Where the turn, like, never ended for, like, five minutes and then suddenly everything happened and I just lost because, I guess, my internet dropped or something? Ple oh, God, please don't tell me it's the same thing. This was actually going to go in my favor. Fuck. Oh, I think it is. The, oh. the turn should have ended by now. Yeah, God, this happened once before. Wait, I saw them selecting something. Okay, no, it didn't happen. Okay, thank God. What are they doing? They're obviously here, they're... Okay, yeah. Ooh, big stompy stompy. Okay. Let's see. Punch. What now? Punch you in the face. Kill you. And then have fun dealing with that. That's not some shadow word. Okay, good, it's not. Ooh, I've got some really powerful creatures here. Alright, I've got 16 damage on the board at the moment. Alright, they're healing. Maybe I should just get the Blood Knight out there just to get a bit of extra pressure. Maybe. Should I ignore what they have or just go for them? I think I should just go for them. Yeah. Now, should I play this stuff? I don't think I will. I want to save it. Just in case I have something... Like the, the thing that has... I don't know what the hell it's called. The Sunwalker? With the Taunt and the Divine Shield? No, oh, well. I'm sure they're going to kill something of mine off. That's going to take away the Divine Shield. Unfortunately. Or no! Ooh! Well played. Wait, do I have lethal? Oh, I guess I do have lethal. I do, right? Yeah, I must. Mm. Yep. That was very, very close. Well played. Got me down to two health. Didn't expect that. Maybe I should have taken the stuff they had on the board off. 
Honestly, I didn't really look at my health and how much damage they had on the board. Might have been a mistake. I mean, they could have easily buffed something up. And taken me out. But, anyway, it worked out. Alright, I'm 2-1. The chance of breaking the curse is actually pretty good. I think I'm probably going to break the curse. Unless I lose two in a row, which is... It's possible. But relatively unlikely. Especially with how awesome this this deck seems to be. It's so much fun to play. Just smash, smash, and then smash some more. And then charge. And then smash. And then smash. Hmm, definitely don't want this. Heroic Strike. This early? I do actually want to keep it. Battle Rage, I want card draw right now. Uh, how likely am I to actually have enough cards, uh, enough things on the board to really get much out of this? Not all that likely, but if I don't get it, I'm going to be lacking for card draw. This is like my only taunt, so I kind of want to keep it. Alright, let's throw these. Alright, not bad. Yeah, not bad. Greetings. I could turn to Acolyte of Pain. Which is what I'm not going to do. Let's not do that. Should I Heroic Strike the thing? A two-coster for a two-coster? Eh. To keep the early pressure off my back. Might be worth it. I'm gonna do it. No minions for you. Denied. <laughs> that thing's adorable sounding. It's also kind of terrible. Why would they pick that? Maybe they have big stuff in their hand? I don't know. Should I even worry about it? It could be something absolutely horrifying, but what are the chances? Pretty low. What now? I should probably just Silver Moon Guardian. Yeah. Alright, what are you gonna do? What, oh, that's not bad. Yeah, I'll just kill you. With my Silver Moon Guardian. What have you got? Actually, if you play something else that has two hit points, I can just cleave it. Drink with me, friend. Oh. <laughs> Seriously? What? You put the Alarmal bot, and you got that out, and then you just took it back. I guess it's not what they wanted out? I... I don't know. Hmm. Kill that, using Elven Archer to kill that. Alternatively... No, let's do this, and get that out, and... Mm. I want the card draw. Weird kind of play, but I want the card draw. I'm not too afraid of a 1-1. Rest in pieces, Silver Moon Guardian. Or are you going for the... Oh, no, yeah, you're going for the Silver Moon Guardian. Alright, wipe the board. I'll get more card draw for it. Or, wait, no. 
Wait, how did that die? Oh, right, never mind. Anyway. Mm, okay, so they're gonna kill anything that I put out there. This thing is dead next turn. In fact, really, anything I put out is dead, except my Mogashan Warden. Which they can't kill. Ooh. And it would protect my Acolyte of Pain. Should I put it up? Maybe. Yeah, let's do it. They might even choose just to save their weapon. Alright, so now I'm hoping I can get my Frothing Berserker out behind this Taunt Wall. And then maybe like trade on my Acolyte of Pain to get some card draw and contribute to the Frothing Berserker. Again? Seriously? <laughs> it's adorable, but it's not really much of a threat. I, I'm i thinking I shouldn't even worry about it. Alright, Frothing Berserker, take out the Silverhand Recruit. It's probably the best way to go. Yeah, well... Yeah, probably. Alternatively, do I really want to worry about this alarm robot? I could execute it, but I don't really care that much. If something big comes out, I could just execute that. Let's get some card draw, see what I have to work with. Hmm. In fact, that's probably a better play. That leaves me with four mana to play what? There we go. Healed up my Acolyte of Pain for potentially more card card draw. And if they attack my Mogashan Warden with their True Silver Champion, it still won't kill it. And I got rid of their Alarmo Bot. Which I wasn't too worried about, but... Hey. I think it's worth it. For such a relatively cheap prize. I didn't want to use an Execute or something just to get rid of it, but a Cruel Taskmaster? Sure. Mm. This leaves me in a really good position. to save their weapon. Alright, I could probably just cleave everything, but I should of course play my Frothing Berserker first. Oh, I have both of my cleaves. Sweet. Now this, folks, is cleavage. Hmm. In fact, I think I might even take my Cruel Taskmaster back. Five? Six, seven. No problem. Then let's take you back. With me, friend. Be thirsty. This is going pretty much as well as it ever could possibly go for me at this point. Like, this is amazing and I never expected it to go this well. This is kind of insane. The stuff I have in my hand that I can- Oh, holy hell! Didn't expect that. Hello, Tyrion. Alright, Battle Rage is going to give me a bunch of cards here if I wanted to. Do I really need cards, though? Okay. Um, hold on. Let's see. Destroy Damage Minion. That's going to take too much. Um. Crap. What's the best way to do this? Hmm. A 
I think maybe just execute. I don't want to sacrifice too many things against it, though. Alright, gotta make a decision. Let's pop the bubble. Let's execute you. I didn't even think I got to attack with everything, did I? Nope, I waited too long. Oh well. Oh, I forgot that it equips a weapon. Right, a 5-3 weapon. Oh my god, that thing is a beast. But still, they have two hit points. So. Well played. I'm amazed at how that went. Okay, I'm happy. I have three wins. I do have three wins, right? Yes, I have three wins. Okay, I'm happy. No matter what happens, I'm happy. I've broken the curse of the two streak of two three runs. It is over. The darkness has lifted from the land. And once again, peace returns. Man, playing warrior is just so damn fun. Well, after seeing what the Mogashan Warden can do, I'm going to keep all of this. Plop that baby down, get some frothing berserkers behind it, and you're good. Oh, hello. Cruel Taskmaster. Nice. Hmm. Do I want an Elven Archer? No, I'll save that. Pointing a two-coster. How much health does it have? Oh. Ooh. That's going to give them a long-term advantage there. Hmm. I still don't want to Elven Archer. The thing is, they have a long-term advantage, because now they're going to have one mana crystal more than me. So, yeah, stuff like that's gonna happen. Hmm. I think I'm just going to... Yeah. Punch you in the face. And then when your 2-1 comes around... Do -do 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 -do. There we go. Alright, now I don't feel too bad about saving the Elven Archer. It actually came in handy. Well Why, thank you. Next turn, I can Dark Iron Dwarf... No, <laughs> Dark Iron Dwarf it. The Elven Archer. Actually, maybe that's not the worst play. Oh yeah, that's right. There's nothing to Dark Iron Dwarf. Well, I suppose I could Dark Iron Dwarf their youthful brewmaster, but I don't know if that's such a great idea. Alright, well, I'm gonna smash you in the face, there's no doubt about no doubt about that. I don't wanna play this without something to combo with, and I can't possibly combo with something else. I don't really want to get a taunt out. Or do I? Yeah, I'll throw it out there. Alright. Next turn I can put a Shatter Sun Cleric behind it, give it some more punch. Ooh. Ooh, that is gonna <laughs> that is gonna grow rather big when it starts bashing itself against my Mogashan Warden. In fact, I'd like to kill it now. 
Can I even do that? I don't think I can. Well, wait a minute, hold on. Four. Five, six, yeah, I can. Okay, I can kill it. Yeah. Hmm. The question is, who takes the damage? The increased damage. Me? Or the Mogashan Warden? I think I'll take it. Yeah, I'll take it. I'll take the increased damage, just for the sake of having a, a taunt up. Again, I'm never afraid to face tank stuff. I can use the Shattered Sun Cleric on it to heal it up a bit. Make it hardier. Plus my Master Swordsmith. Hmm, okay. Fair enough. Hello, Gorehound. I can use you later. Can't quite get my Cruel Taskmaster up enough damage to be able to take it out. If I Shattered Sun Cleric it, the Frost Elemental can still kill it. And it still won't die, so there's really no point in using it on the Mogshan Warden. That thing is dead. Just have to accept that fact. I'll just get this stuff out. Well. Helped out the Mogjan Warren a little bit, but still not enough. Ooh. Nice play. Nice play indeed. Why are my cars overlaid? Get mo mo what the uh what the hell? It's beta. It's beta. They're hiding. What what is happening to my cards? Uh, anyway, there's yeah. Okay. <laughs> the core hound is peeking over it. Hmm. No. Best way to do this. I could execute that, but then I can't... I, need, I really need to kill the Frostwolf Warlord. And if I'm going to do that, I need to sacrifice something. Alright, do that. No problem. We must... The Buff that thing up. Attack you in the face. Use that, and we're good. Alright. Once again, I have a massive card advantage. That seems to keep happening. Not good. I guess I should have taken more card draw. Ouch. It's going to be hard to punch through. Cleave is a terrible play. I think I'll just get my core hound out. And I'm not even going to attack. Yeah, that core hound's probably going to die. Alright, now's a pretty good time to play Cleave. Now's an excellent time to play Cleave. Ooh, thank you for the card draw. I'll take it. Hmm. 
Alright, hold on. What the hell can I do here? I could heroic strike that. And then cleave. Alright, punch you in the face. Cleave both of you. And let's apply some pressure here. Put that out, and I'm going to charge with it. Punch you in the face. And there goes all of my cards. Please don't have something huge. Oh my god. <laughs> oh, that is horrible. Oh, lovely. Just lovely. Actually, that's not bad, because it will get it up to four attacks, so it will be able to take out the Iron Bark Protector at least. So it could have been worse, but that's still a really good card for them to have at this moment. I don't know if I can come back from this. Please don't have something that gets it higher health. Oh no! Okay. Oh! Lovely. Right, I'm kind of screwed at this point. I can survive one more turn. <laughs> Useless piece of crap. They're just gonna ignore the Sun Fury Protector, of course. It's completely impotent at the moment. Oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> can anything save me from this? No, it, it's impossible. Well played. Well played. Oh, play. I was hoping they didn't have anything big. <laughs> anything big. I played everything I had and I just had to hope that they had nothing to respond to it, but oh boy did they. Argonite Reapers, sweet. Boy did they have something to respond to it. But anyway, it's okay. I'm on I'm on cloud nine. Or maybe cloud eight. I'm not sure quite about I'm not sure if I'm quite on cloud nine, but I have free wins, so I'm pretty damn happy. Hmm. Some hot sweaty warrior on warrior action. Alright, Blood Knight's awesome, but I'm thinking I probably don't need it this early. Cleave. I'll keep cleave. Okay, not bad. Huh. Greetings. Huh. Greetings. Once again, the question arises. Use the Elven Archer or save it. I have both my cleaves great. I'm going to save it. That worked out extremely well for me last time. We'll see about this time, though. Well, okay. Lots of uh, removal and spells, that's for sure. Let's get this thing out there. Hey, speak to me. Then next turn, I could potentially cleave and Elven Archer my own Acolyte of Pain to get card draw. Hmm. Well, that's awkward. Crap. Yeah, that's pretty awkward. I kind of need to kill that right about now. Like, right, right now. 
In fact, I'm actually going to use a cleave on it. Yeah, and let's get two cards out of this. There's one card. Let's see what we get. Ooh, Heroic Strike. Never mind. I don't need to. I was going to use a cleave just on it, just on it, for one enemy, which I think would have been worth it just because of how how quickly that thing can go out of control. But that is much, much better. Hmm. Well, I have a lot of cards, that's for sure. There's my core hound. So let's put that out there, and I'm actually gonna attack this because that sets it up for a cleave. Yeah, or they could just sacrifice everything they have to kill the chill. Or they could use execute. Okay, that works too. Please play minion with two health. That's not two health. Okay. Okay. Not exactly sure what to play here. Cleave to only kill one enemy? Is that really worth it? I just put this thing out there. I'm just going to put this out there. Yeah. I want to save the charge and core hound for a turn 7 core hound play. Cleaving to kill cleaving to kill one enemy doesn't seem worth it really. What is that? Another execute. Things going well. Ah, not bad. Uh, three... Three two right now. Or my three one. I can't remember. Pretty good. So that's all I'll say. <laughs> okay, what the hell happened? Stuff. Okay, uh, I think it's time to cleave. I wonder. Yeah, let's cleave. Not bad. Could have been better. Definitely could have been better. Shields up. <laughs> Not exactly the strongest play, but I want to get something out. We'll either absorb that damage or take out the cruel taskmaster. How many wins am I on? I know I'm on three wins, but how many losses? Two? Yeah, I think I'm 3-2. Can't even remember. I can't wait to do that turn 7 core hound play. 9 damage. It's so much. Alright, they're just gonna ignore me. Fine. Okay. Well, if I don't kill what they have on the board right now, I'm gonna die, so I can't really focus on the core hound thing. I could Shatter Sun Cleric you and then take out the Yeti. Hold on. Take out the Yeti, Cruel Taskmaster. 
that and take out the harpy. Okay, that's the way to go. Right? Cruel Taskmaster. Wait, no, that's not going to work. What the hell am I thinking? Well, actually, wait, that will work. Yeah. Okay, do this. And you die. Let's give you some more damage there. And let's give you charge, and let's take you out. Okay, whew. And now we both have a cruel taskmaster. Awkward. And they're gonna keep get to keep theirs. Don't mess with Tusk. Five damage on the board. They're just gonna hit me, aren't they? Yeah. Okay. They have eight damage in total. Okay. I can take their stuff out. Should I? I kinda have to. Should I? I suppose I should. Cutting it a little bit close here. And by that, I mean I'm almost certain I'm going to die. They have six damage potential and I have eight health. If they have anything that does damage to me directly. Why haven't they? Because time, time takes time. Well, I can respond to that while I'm waiting. Alright, well, I'm not dead. But I'm probably about to... Ooh, taunt. Okay, I think that's going to save me. Hmm. I think the only way I could possibly survive is if I just focus on... Protect myself and just do damage. They have very little damage potential on the board. So... Put up a taunt wall. Ignore what they have. Do I attack it? Mm. No, I can't really risk taking damage. Oh, great. Wonderful. What's gonna please please be my my big? Oh, great! <laughs> I'm pretty sure I just lost. What else do you have? Oh, I'm alive. Okay. Oh. Oh, I could play those in the same turn, but <laughs> I, I need to kill this. Or I need to armor up. Hmm. What now? This is awkward. I don't want to use my core hound just to do one damage to a cruel taskmaster. That's that's well, cruel. I think I have to. Whoops. The hell I was about to kill myself. Let's not do that. That's humiliating, but there's really no good way to do that. Alternatively, I suppose I could have armored up, hit it in the face, and played my Warsong Commander and just save the Gorehound for next turn, but... 
Whew, at least that doesn't kill it. Never mind. Right. So we're going power of the top deck here. I'm almost certainly lost because... I'm almost certainly lost because we're top decking and the difference between us is I have four hit points and they have 24. The GG. <laughs> Pretty much just GG. What can I possibly do against that? Come on. Yeah. That's it. No way around it. No. Well played. Well played. All right, but it's fine. I'm happy. I got the three wins. Man, what happened though? I felt like I, I feel like I lost my mojo. I mean, what did I get the first run I did? I, I think I got four three the very first run I ever did, and then the second one was what six three, and then it's some or maybe it was seven three. I don't know. I know I've gotten four, four wins, seven wins, six wins, and then it just seems like it's gone downhill. 3-3. Three, three. I mean, I'm happy with it. I I'm satisfied, but... It's certainly not great. It's just... Okay. But, I'll take it. I was so happy with that deck, too. Hmm. Oh, well. Man, I must have gotten really lucky with my last run. Where... At least with my rewards. Because I actually finished 2-3. And yet I got a pack and I got 50 gold. This time I finished 3-3 three, three and I got a pack and 25 gold. And 25 dust, which is complete crap. The dust, I mean. Still, though, I mean, I don't expect 50 gold plus a pack for this amount of wins. Alright, let's see what's in the pack. Mass Dispel. Silence all enemy minions, draw a card. Hmm. I wonder how good that actually is. Silence all enemy minions. How often do you actually have multiple things to silence? It does happen. Hmm. Anyway. All right. Well, the streak of bad runs has ended, thankfully. Finished 2-3, and then 2-3, and then now 3-3. Three, three. Let's hope I can continue that trend and maybe finish 4-3 next time, and then so on and so on. All right. Well, I hope you enjoyed, and I will be back soon for another arena run.